we have been talking about downloading the uh, Bitcoin Core full node and people have been talking about it on our Facebook group so we decided today to do it and we've got ourselves a, an old iMac, I don't know, what, 17 inch iMac that uh, Gary had lying around and uh, it should be plenty of machine to do uh, the full node. So let's get started. Uh, we've got our maps here and we're just going to download. So you go to bitcoincore.org and uh, that's here and uh, download and it uh, pulled up the Apple version and uh, we're going to click that and uh, save the DMG file and that's just going to take a minute or so and uh, While we wait for that to download, we're very excited. Aren't we, Gary? Very excited. <laughs> very excited. All right. And we're halfway through downloading. We'll come back when it's done. All right. Okay. Ready? All right. We're ready. And pull up the DMG. And how easy is this? Bitcoin Core, copy it to the Applications folder. And that sounds good. And here we are. Bitcoin QT. And it's an application downloaded from the internet, yes. Welcome to Bitcoin Core. As this is the first time your program is launched, you can choose where it's going to store the data. Use the default data, use the custom directory. Uh, we have 800 gigabytes available, uh, 827 gigabytes available, and when we click OK, it'll begin to download the full Bitcoin blockchain at 150 gigabytes, starting with the earliest transactions back in 2009. Initial synchronization is demanding, and it'll expose hardware problems with our computer. So let's get started. We're gonna do it in the default location. And we'll be back in two weeks. Recent transactions may not be visible. Okay, we know. The wallet's launched. Your, uh, it's syncing headers. It's going to take a while to get started. It says the number of blocks left unknown. Progress is 0%. So we'll get an update on this shortly. So is that it, Tony? We're all That's, ready we're to go? We're getting started, yes. So we'll when, when we come back in two weeks? Maybe. We'll maybe. see how fast your connection is. How but it takes a while. It takes a while. Could be a week, could be two weeks. Could be a day or two. We'll see. Okay, well this is a all start. Right. Here's an update. We've got our full node and downloading the wallet, uh, downloading the Bitcoin blockchain. We're at 1.6% and it turns out it'll only take two days. So uh, I'm pretty impressed. You got a pretty fast uh, internet connection here. So instead of uh, the two weeks we're thinking, it's two days. Mm -hmm. Cool. We'll be back with more on the full node. Here we are, two weeks later, and it's finally downloaded. We have our full node, and it's loaded up. The blockchain is loaded, and we are connected to the blockchain. Let's pull it up here and see if we hover over this. We have eight active connections to the Bitcoin network. Click to disable network activity. So our full node is now running on this iMac and we loaded it up a couple weeks ago. Bitcoin Core, let's see our version. We're at uh, 0.15.1 and running on an iMac. So it's really easy for anybody on an iMac Macintosh, laptop, desktop, Mac mini, any of those. It's really easy to download Bitcoin Core. And we saw that last time on the video, how we downloaded it and set it up and thinking it was gonna be a few days to download the entire blockchain, but it turned out to be two weeks. So we have a pretty fast connection here. Not quite sure what happened, but we were patient. 
And uh, so now we've got our overview. We don't have any Bitcoin in our wallet, but this is a wallet right here. You can send money, you can receive money, and it shows the transactions. So this is basically your reference wallet for how Bitcoin should work. Uh, and this is a wallet that's 100% connected to the blockchain and you're a full participant in how Bitcoin works. There's some selections here under preferences. And if your machine goes down, power goes out, you can have this uh, log, start Bitcoin core on system login. So you're able to just have it start up automatically and be running. And um, we haven't changed any of these default values to the size of the database cache. 450 megabytes, number of script verification threads, zero. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Uh, and there's our wallet. Enable coin control features. Spend unconfirmed change. So there's some options here, and I'm not sure what they're about, but we'll st be studying that and uh, we'll get back to you. And the network, whatever we did here, it worked, but boy, it took a long time map port to using UPnP, and that's uh, something that's on your router that enables you to open specific uh, port to uh, connect with the Bitcoin network. It only works when your router supports UPnP, and it's on. Allow incoming connections, you'll want to have that on, except connections from the outside. And your interface language, and show amounts in either Bitcoin or smaller amounts if you prefer. So, there's your preferences, and uh, there's your full node. We've been running this now for a couple days since it downloaded fully, and uh, it's, it's that simple.